Alright guys, I'm getting tired of not knowing what she's doing in there, so I'm going to try and tickle her now, which is like teasing the spider to come out and show herself, so I'll try and do that. Strange. I hope she's alright. Yeah, I got morning hair. I'm crazy. Um, I don't even think... And uh, the last cricket. The problem with the animals in this cage is they die. Um, the feeding animals are very hard to keep alive. Uh, on the other hand, I have no problem keeping this lady alive. And uh, no problem keeping... Well, I don't know, because I don't know if she's alive or not. Um, which is really annoying. Just as long as I can see there's some life in there. She's moving or anything. Ooh, I see uh, a couple of legs now. Can you guys see them? There are the legs, so she is alive. Oh good, she's okay then. Alright, I'm not going to disturb her anymore then. I'm just going to give her some fresh water and then probably get a, a couple of crickets for her. Right now I am putting some stuff for sale um, on a Danish website which sells RC stuff. This here is a roller which means it used to be a nitro car but as you can see there's nothing inside, it's just empty. Um, because I wanted to put this motor kit in here uh, which is brand new, hasn't been used at all, haven't even been mounted. So that got there and there's even a programmer box from follows for this. This is a waterproof kit as well which is really cool. Um, that was my whole plan, I put in those two together um, but I'm putting that for sale now those two I'm also putting my Revo VXL for sale on there um, with a receipt and a receiver uh, and two batteries um, they're LiPo but they're a little bit ballooned so uh, yeah but they work um, I'm putting that for sale and maybe one of my other cars because I've seen another car I really like so I'm probably gonna take and um, sell some stuff to um, get some other stuff I'm also gonna get another remote um, I'm sick and tired of having all these cars I got, like, I have like seven, eight cars in total, and I have to take, and I have like a remote for each car, so that's so annoying. I'm gonna go and get, um, another remote similar to this, but it's got memory, and you can buy different receivers and put these in the car, so you only use this one remote, and that's what I'm trying to save up to. So, um, I'm selling these bits and pieces, and hopefully I can raise enough money to get my receiver. Someone wants to go out for a walk. Oh, you wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Let's get a coat on, we go for a walk. <laughs> Enjoying a walk in the chilly weather. It's actually quite cold guys, but thankfully it's not windy. <laughs> it feels like it's fro frost in the air, don't you think? It's about minus degrees. It's minus two. So it's cold. Oh, she's in her hair. <laughs> she's got a crazy thing. <laughs> oh, a pheasant as well. We still haven't decided anything regarding the new car we were looking at. Um, <coughs> You are very, very interested in the catches because of the fuel economy. <laughs> the thing is just that we don't know how much they can change the seat because it's going to have some alternations done to it for Paul's back. So the seat might be able to turn like 45 degrees for easier getting in and out. The there problem... And there won't be a clutch pedal because it, we're going to have an automatic um, because his uh, left leg gets numb whenever he uses it. And... That's why normally we go out walk Sally all, so you can walk, but it hurts very soon. And we got benches along here where you can sit down for a few minutes every time. Getting old. Getting old, yeah. So am I. I got a bad right knee. I could feel that when I skated. Yeah, next year. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> it's only a number. Um, but anyways, we both like the cactus. We wasn't too keen on the Bilingo uh, because it what we call it a, kin a kids container because it looks like what the typical oh, sucker. No, that's a Picasso. Oh, the the, the Picasso, the Picasso was more comfortable for you to sit in. That was the big one. Oh. Um, but that's expensive. If you go and uh, wherever you are, if you're in Denmark, you know what the price is when I say it now. But if you are somewhere else in the world. Try and go in and type this price I'm saying to you now. The Picasso, which is the biggest and most expensive one we looked at the three cars, is 365,000 Danish kroner. 
You try and go and convert that and see how much it is. Then you get like a roughly idea how expensive cars are in Denmark. And don't forget on top of that, fuel is expensive, insurance, and we have something called weight tax, which is equivalent to a road tax. Um, but that's quite expensive as well. Uh, and then insurance, of course. But then we're gonna continue our walk. I've been smart enough to wear my gloves today. These are the ones I had from Paul's dad. Your dad bought two pairs, but he got very big hands like you have. And uh, he got this pair first, which was too small. And instead of taking them back, he bought a bigger pair. And you got the bigger pair, and I got this one. Brand new. So, it's a nice little thank you from Paul's dad, having these gloves. And to think that he could fit them, you would never get in these. You've got big hands, big feet, big floppers. That's what Paul, when he swims, he don't use his arm, he's just like... <laughs> So, back home again from um, the Sally walk and doing a bit of shopping and uh, this is all the stuff which I've put for sale, except the big one, I haven't done that yet. But the roller there and my motor kit and all that, I just looked on the website because I bought an offer but I actually got up in price. This kit here, the motor and ESC kit is 700 Danish Krona, I didn't know that. I bought it for like 400. And then this car put for sale, um, but I haven't done the Emax yet. But uh, it all depends how much I want to give to get that new car and receiver. The receiver I want to get is one who can remember up to 20 models. A bit like my um, Spectrum DX8, which I use for my planes. That can remember 40 models. Um, or oh, no, sorry. 30 models is it there. Okay. See, I nearly told you a lie there. But this one here is the one I want to get for my cars. A DX4C and it can remember 20 models which is more than the amount of cars I will ever have but um, I'm hoping to get one of those but right now I'm about to clean this I don't know if you can see uh, there's some small spots or something come on on the silver bit here uh, which is annoying me quite a bit so um, I will try and clean this up because I haven't cleaned it while I had it um, but this is a really really nice remote and it's totally overkill for what I use of planes and stuff I mean, I don't need all this ex extreme stuff here, but uh, it is very cool and it does Everything that I need when I fly and stuff. So Yeah So this is a, a nice transmitter. You got lights in it. See It would be nice if that was blue though, but it matches with the orange there But uh, I don't know if you know now, but orange is not really my favorite color. Never been. That's the one I want there it's really really quick especially on three cell batteries and this actually it comes brushless and everything like that and uh, it's it's an awesome car i really think it's nice and i've seen a lot of reviews on it and the best review i saw was a guy who had it for a year and he did like the low c mini 8 a year after review and he said it's been a really good car he only broken a couple of small bits which hasn't cost my, uh, only a couple of dollars to, to replace and it's so quick and the motor in EC is perfect yet and he still loves it. It's a great car for all kind of riding. So, um, yeah, I am um, hopefully trying to get that. Because, um, well, the the E-Revo is about the same size. Um, it's actually a Revo. It looks like the Slash, but it's just a buddy. That's the Revo. It has been a fun, cool car, but I would like to try something else. I'd like to get a buggy, uh, a buggy because that is quite tall and it like tilts around. So, yeah. Well, that seems to go all right. There's already someone who's been interested in this car here, uh, which is good. Um, and he's going to pay 1,300 Danish kroner for it, uh, with the, including those two batteries there. Um, he will uh, pay me during the next week because he has another car he's trying to sell himself. Um, so that's basically my new remote, or most of the other car. Um, so uh, that's big interest. Another guy I wrote on this one here, um, asking if I wanted uh, wanted to buy it but he didn't see one thing that this here is a 1 to 16 scale let me just go out here and show you what he thought it was all right this is the 1 16 scale that's what he thought it was this here oh sorry this is the what I'm selling and he thought it was one of these so uh, <laughs> yeah it's the same brand um, but much smaller, of course, this one here. So uh, this is the one of mine, which I use a lot, and I don't want to get rid of that. Look, someone's tired on the floor. <laughs> and I just went out and picked up, uh, I actually dug up some soil, um, so I could um, feed the little crickets and grasshopper. There's like three crickets in there, and that grasshopper who was here a while back, it's still alive, it's right down there. 
That's like really old, but it only has three. It's missing one of the big rear legs. But now there's at least this food for them. As you can see, it's like a big lump of soil, so the grass should stay alive a little bit longer, which is cool. And uh, some of you guys also ask me where did I get this controller? I bought it on eBay, and if you just go in and write um, SNES controller or Super Nintendo controller, you should find something like this. And it's only one pound free shipping from Hong Kong. Um, it is a cheap version of it, but it works perfectly. Um, and when you download the emulator, if it doesn't work right away, you have to go to the settings and set up the um, the actual. Ah, um, <clears throat> oh, got itchy nerves. Set up the uh, remote or the controller so it works. Tomorrow I'm not going to the skate park because my toe is really bugging me up a bit and um, I don't really want to bust my knee anymore. I want to have a little break from all the hard landings on the scooters, so um, I'm not going to do that. And oh, um, when I was in the skate park Wednesday, I actually filmed the giveaway video and I said that would be up Thursday. Today, I was like, ah, oh, dang it, I'm going to do it now. And I realized I deleted it. It's so stupid of me, I forgot to um, save it. So, because the video was filmed on this camera and um, it was in between all the vlog videos, so I didn't think of it when I just started the lead because I deleted all the vlogging material every single day. I'm not saving it because that would take a crazy amount of space. So um, I'm sorry about that. Um, maybe me and Nikki can film one tomorrow because Nikki's coming down here and we can hang out. And I'm gonna help him how to uh, take his remote control car apart and uh, clean it and all that. And then maybe if the weather is nice, we're gonna go and try and fly some RC plane. Um, so I can maybe teach Niki how to, Niki how to fly. Uh, but I want to try and connect my um, DX8 remote control up to the um, computer here and uh, have a simulator built in so Niki can have like a feeling of flying before we go out. So at least you have a little bit of idea what it is. Yeah. All right, but I will, um, I will catch you guys a little bit later. Oh, no, I won't. I will go to bed now because <laughs> it's like two o'clock. And I'll see you soon. Love you guys. The awesome epic. And we're going to film the giveaway tomorrow and hopefully have it up. All right. So I apologize for that. So see you guys. Peace. Well, right there. There's no uh, battery. Well, I got a battery here, but this is not a LiPo. This is like the original battery that came with it, um, which I'm not going to be using anymore. I also have the normal transmitter, which is 27 megahertz, but I don't I want to go.